FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And guys, in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look and talk about the anatomy of a trending market. All right. So we're going to break down the trending market today so you guys can have a better understanding of how it works and hopefully improve your trading. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this started. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't joined us yet, please go to fxntrading.com, create a free account, and join us in our Telegram group where we have a large community of traders uh, that are helping each other trade and becoming better traders. All right, guys. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with this video today. All right, guys. So as we break down the anatomy of a trending market we have to understand in in general what what are we talking about when we uh when somebody says a trending market right so let's break this down pretty simply all right let's go ahead and let's say the market itself right moves in three different ways okay it moves like this right so it's a trending down it moves like this right so consolidation and then it moves like this right so downtrend uptrend and consolidation are sideways right so the market is always essentially moving in one of these three directions okay so when we talk about a trend okay we're literally just talking about a market that is doing this all right basically they're moving down in a downtrend or up in an uptrend all right so obviously you know if it's creating if it's uh trending down it's essentially creating lower lows lower highs lower lows and lower highs right if it's uh, going up in an uptrend then it's creating higher highs and higher lows right so it keeps going like this like this like this all right that's essentially a trending market going up and a trending market going down right so how do these markets get created and essentially how can we uh, potentially trade these markets all right so let's talk about that so let's take a look at this pound USD right here okay now this is on a daily chart so I can show you the the actual scale of it and you can understand what I'm talking about all right so what do we have here we have essentially the beginning here right and then it drops and then we have consolidation drops and then now it's essentially creating another consolidation zone right so essentially all it's done is consolidate drop consolidate drop consolidate all right that's essentially the whole thing that's all that it's done Right, so when we talk about a trending market, if we can identify it uh, and, and we know what it is, essentially we can trade it. Now, when it comes to how we trade, we, we understand that there is a type of, of uh, pattern that happens on a weekly basis, right? And so when we have, let's say, a, um, a trending market like this, right, the trending market starts up and typically it forms a double top or an M, a big M on a higher time frame, right? And then it moves down, which is this move here. And then it consolidates for a little bit, moves down, consolidates for a little bit, and then moves down again, right? And so these here are just basically levels, right? So one, two, and then we'll have a... Um, another one down here 
which is three. Okay. Now, typically, at three is when we should get some type of a reversal happen. Okay. Um, so typically these trends on higher time frames, they go in levels of three. All right. Now, one thing I want you to understand is this is if you're looking at it on a daily chart, this is what we call a macro view, right? So this whole one level here, okay, is essentially from 2009 all the way to 2015. Right, so then are six years to create this one level on a daily chart. Now, if you go down to the smaller time frames, let's say like an hour, right, you're going to find that you have a lot of of trending markets, right, that go up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, you're gonna find on a micro so if you go to a one hour chart four hour chart um, that you know these this whole six year run essentially is nothing but a bunch of trending movements like this reverses goes up comes down you know all the way through for six years it just repeats over and over and over again so when we talk about the trend here the trend essentially is like this a major double top or an M formation on a higher time frame and then it's followed by levels of consolidation right so let's say level one level two and then level three now typically at level three most of the time is when you should see a reversal happen okay and you should go back up and you should have basically the same thing one two and then three and three is when it basically reverses and it, it goes through this right now if it were to do this constantly all the time then essentially the market would just do this right it would just consolidate basically the entire time right well the market obviously doesn't do that right so what happens that the trend can seem like it's going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever how can it do this so how can the market do this here when there's supposedly only typically three levels right level one level two and level three right the easy answer to that is that the market essentially resets and it resets the count of these levels so what I mean by that is you will see so you'll see the market go basically from an M like this it'll go down one one level two levels and then the third level it'll go ahead and do this right so it'll turn around and then when it gets to basically level one going up instead of going to level two what you would expect okay it actually drops below the original level three okay and so what happens when it does that is it basically resets the number of counts so level one level two level three and then now this starts over again and so this is again one two and then three and then here we could essentially go back up and get you know a reversal and go back up right sometimes you'll get a situation where um, the market is trending for so long uh, that you might get two resets that actually happen okay so you'll get a reset here and then you'll get you know obviously this would have been a reset as well 
So you'll get the market that potentially is at level three consolidation. It'll make a big W here and it'll go up. It'll pass this peak here of, of, uh, of the level three consolidation. So you think that you're gonna be on the first level of consolidation, right? But what happens is instead of going up to a second level, it just drops and it drops below uh, the low of level three consolidation. And so then that essentially starts to count again. And then we have again, one keeps going to two and, and stuff like that. So that's how essentially these trending markets can go for a long time in one direction. And you're kind of wondering, man, is this trend ever going to end? You know, so be aware of that and how that actually happens because it does happen and it happens a lot more often than you think you might not even notice that it happens okay but essentially that's what happens with uh, a trend all right a trend all it is is essentially typically a big uh, double top or big M on a hard time frame and then you have uh, levels of consolidation followed by uh, the big impulsive moves that happen here down here and then you get a reversal like that so you have a level one consolidation a level two and then a third consolidation typically that's when we get a big double bottom or a w um, and then we start to go back up okay if you ever wonder why why the trend is going in one direction for so long it's because basically once they reversed it on level three to go back up level one it gets here and instead of going level two going up it actually goes down and it just keeps going down and down and down okay so it just resets count again for one two and three and then here they may reverse back up all right but that's literally guys as simple as it gets when it comes to trending markets okay typically they start out with a big double bottom or double top they typically end with a double bottom a big w all right um that's literally it guys and then there's just levels of consolidation in the middle typically three levels if there's more than three levels you would essentially see uh that there's a reset that happens that basically resets the count of the levels of consolidation all right so market makers like to use essentially three levels of drop and then reverse um, so if they want to move price for a significant amount of time longer then that's when they will reset the uh, the number count and then it'll just keep going down in that particular direction um, or up in that direction all right it's a very simple um, and and there's no need to uh, to essentially complicate it because it, it's just no need for it all right so go on the you know one hour time frame or any time frame really because you'll see uh, the consolidation levels happen on on every time frame all right but just go and you'll see what I'm talking about you'll see that it typically starts with a double top or a big M like this and then you'll have essentially the, the consolidation go down and you'll have it in levels guys that's all it is that is literally all a trending market is all right so so guys thank you so much for watching the video i appreciate the support guys thank you so much for it i really do appreciate it and uh enjoy the weekend guys